Hello guys. Happy National Cheeseburger Day. <laughs> so, in honor of Cheeseburger Day, we're going to make cheeseburger macaroni, aka hamburger helper, aka one of my favorite childhood <laughs> dinners. Um, yeah, we're going to, I am so happy to be able to make an alternative version of it for you today. It's going to be a healthier version, gluten-free, and there's not going to be any meat or cheese in this version for you guys who can't have meat or cheese or you're trying to reduce how much meat and cheese you eat. This is a perfect meal and it's so scrumptious and delicious you don't lose any of the flavor from the original by replacing the cheese and meat with plant-based items. So. I am so excited about this. I have been thinking about this all week long. As soon as I heard Cheeseburger, National Cheeseburger Day was on Wednesday, I was like, something's gotta be done. Something's gotta be done. And I was craving Hamburger Helper for the longest time. So I just used whatever I had in my pantry. So you guys can just use whatever you have. I had some, some long uh, pasta. Um, I just used whatever I had. Don't worry about going out and buying a bunch of stuff. I didn't even have a lot of veggie crumbles. I just used what I had. So you can add any vegetables of your choice to this. I actually have some broccoli steaming and I'm gonna chop that up and add it to um, my hamburger helper later because I'm eating this for dinner today and I cannot wait. Anyways, let's get into the video. Enough talking. You guys have waited much too long. <laughs> let's go ahead and make some cheeseburger macaroni. <laughs> okay guys, so we're just gonna start off by adding our onions to the pan. And you're gonna need uh, some type of uh, crumble, like a veggie crumble uh, replacement for the ground beef. So I'm just using some veggie crumble here. You could use soy crumbles, you could use TDP, you could use tempeh. I'm just gonna throw that in here. I didn't have a lot left, but I'm just using what I have. And then I'm throwing in some, just some cut up peppers, which is optional. I've got some red and green peppers. I'm just gonna throw in there. And then we're just gonna cook this. You can cook it in veggie broth or a little bit of water or whatever you have. My spice mixture. Just add it in my spice mixture. I'm gonna add in my tomato paste. Oops. Camera's fogging up. <laughs> okay, so I added in the tomato paste. And then I'm going to also add in the marinara sauce. Just gonna cook that for a bit and then we're gonna add in the water and the pasta. My goodness, that smells good. Got some milk and water. Just gonna pour in. I've got my pasta. I'm gonna throw in. Just gonna let this boil 10 to 12 minutes, and meanwhile, we're gonna go make the cheese. So I'm throwing in one large russet potato that I boiled. Then I'm throwing a bowl of carrots and I boiled uh, the carrots with a half onion. Then we're gonna do half a cup of cashews. I just boiled the cashews just to uh, I just boil the cashews just to make them soft, but you can soak them for you can soak them for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna throw in about a half a cup of nutritional yeast. 
and we're gonna throw in some milk. So about a cup or so of liquid. Okay, so I also add in some sea salt, black pepper, and a squeeze of Dijon mustard. So we're gonna go ahead and take this over here to the stove. The pasta, you want the pasta completely cooked. So like I said, cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then we're going to add the cheese. I can take it off the blender. <laughs> there we go. And depending on how much liquid you need depends on what type of blender you have. This is not a strong blender. So I had to add about a cup of liquid. Of milk and water but mixed together but if you have a strong like Vitamix you probably won't need to add a lot of liquid to this so anyways let's go over to this Alrighty. So. okay so this is how it looks we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese sauce cheese sauce and start out with about a cup of cheese sauce that's nice and creamy. I'm gonna start off with about a cup and then keep going until I have the cheesiness that I desire. So creamy and delicious and scrumptious. <laughs> Whoa, let's add some black pepper. You can also add some paprika on top of this. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's good. Time to take this over to the other side. B. Cheeseburger macaroni is dead. Look at this. Look at this. It looks so delicious. <sighs> memory lane. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down memory lane and get me a. I'm gonna go ahead and put me some in here. Oh, uh, let's look at this cheesy deliciousness without the cheese. I'm just ready to taste. Let's go. Wow. Wow. You'll be genuinely surprised at how good this is. Mmm. You can do this with whatever pasta you want. You can use gluten-free pasta, you can use whole wheat pasta. Mmm. Yes. Yes, my childhood. I can I can <laughs> feel the nostalgia coming back. They're eating this dish. Like I said, guys, if you want to make an alternative version of hamburger helper, make this. You won't lose any of the flavor. I guarantee it. It's so good. Mmm. I think I'm just gonna sit here and eat this whole plate in front of you guys. Mm. Okay guys, you know what I'm gonna tell you to do. Try this recipe. Happy National Cheeseburger Day. You can still celebrate National Cheeseburger Day without the cheese and without the burger. <laughs> so um, yes, uh, like I said, you guys, like I said, this is an alternative channel uh, where we make your favorite foods uh, healthier and in a different way without losing any of the flavor and texture, hopefully. <laughs> so I hope you guys will try this out. Honestly, I don't know when I'm going to post this video. It might not be National Cheeseburger Day by the time I post this video. We'll see. I'll try to put it up today. But I will see you guys later. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and click that subscribe button, if you please. <laughs> and um more delicious videos coming your way and to my subscribers already thank you so much for watching i hope you try this scrumptious meal and more delicious recipes coming your way
and once again it's a beautiful day outside it is sunny it is bright and i'm gonna enjoy myself so i'll see you later bye bye Going down memory lane. Going down memory lane. Going down. Okay, that was pathetic. <laughs>